All right, how you doing today? Today we're gonna do a short video on how to write a hook in a couple minutes, very quick, with this really cool app called Hookpad. There's a link in the video description below. You can check it out. There's a free demo of it. It's a web-based app, so you can use it pretty much on any modern web browser. Check it out, and here, let's, let's get into this video. All right, so this is the application here. Let's check this out. We have all these different chords over here. We can use the keys on our keyboard to activate these with number system one through seven, zero is a rest. And then we have different note door, uh, lengths here as well for the melodies and things like that. And we get picked, uh, if we click down here, we have a chord selection. If we click up here, we have the melody selection for different notes. Again, use the numbers. And let's go down here and pick a chord progression. We're just gonna do, pick one they have here. You could write your own, it's very simple. Just pick this one. There we go, we'll loop that real quick. So instantly we have a chord progression. By default, it is this piano sound, kind of plays like this. So there you go. Default settings, key of C, we could change the key up here, uh, tempo and everything as well. We could change the instruments playing, we'll get into that later. But let's write our melody, let's write our hook here, let's see what happens. So we'll go back to the first bar here. Put this at eighth note. Put a space. Maybe put some longer notes in. I'm just doing this randomly to see what happens and then we can edit it later. All right, let's see what we got so far. Sounds pretty cool so far, actually. Another cool feature here is you can use these guides. And when I hit the guide thing, it's gonna show you the notes that are in the, that chord down here, like this, this highlighted notes here. Right now I'm playing one note that's in that chord and one note out of that chord. Adds a little tension to the, the melody, if you will. So there you go with that. This one's out of the chord of E minor. Let's check it, listen, if I'll, I'll play it again and then I'll play it with in the chord and see what happens. If I put it in the chord, drag it up. Kind of works both ways. Now we just need a little ending of the rhythm here little end of the melody. Maybe we'll give it a couple more rests with these fast notes here. We'll put notes that are in the chord. So let's see here the G. And if I want to go down an octave, I just hold the arrow key down, or you can just move the notes as well. Not the arrow key, but the, uh, I guess it is the arrow keys. There we go. We'll hold that down, and then we'll go jump down to uh, the G down below. Put this rest there. Do a five, three. Actually move that down to the that note there. Let's see what happens. Little off rhythm there. We could just drag this. And it automatically drags that note. Now this is just a quick demo here of the video for this video. You can add in different voices. You have four different voices or four different melodic parts up top here. And then we have all kind of other features like I could do the band feature here. There's some default bands here. You could change the sound yourself. Let's just do a default band. We'll do a rock band here, see what happens. It's gonna load the sounds up. You can export all these as MIDI files. You can export chord charts. You can export the sheet music. So it's pretty cool. Okay, that ending's a little weird. But instantly you have like something going here and then you have your hook and you're good to go. Let's try the pop band. Mm -hmm. 
pretty cool. And like I said, you could export all this kind of stuff here. There's a couple of ways to do it. You can just double click on these here, highlight the parts you want to uh, do this, kind of highlight that. I can just do the lead part if I want a mini file for that. I can do the harmony part. I can do an export over here. I could do a MIDI, a score, tablature, lead, lead part, uh, wave, and MP3. Another cool feature is if you want to write lyrics to this, there's a lyrics section over here. Where's that at? Lyrics. And when you type in your lyrics, it's going to go with the chords here or with the notes here. And I will even type out in the sheet music, which is really cool. Watch my other videos for that. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Like say, where is, I don't know. I'm just making up some weird lyrics. A cat. I don't know. The stupidest lyrics. But, and then you just sing along or, you, can, you know, whatever. It's just a demo. But anyways, check it out. There's a link in the video description below. That is all for now. And I will talk to you soon.